Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Control. Um, before we go too far in, uh, seeing as we're at one of these nodes, I want to have a look at our options for board countermeasures. <clears throat> uh, we're doing the Black Rock Quarry, so we're likely to be around maintenance. We could find uh, his snipers, that seems like a fair one to have. Uh, we need to use Pierce to kill things with headshots, that's going to be a bit overkill, but sure. I'm not going to be going to research, so let's abandon this one. And his charged in maintenance without getting hit. Sure, we can probably manage that. Or just his elevated personal mod, weapon mod. Let's get let's go for the weapon mod. Also means we don't need to worry about getting hit or not. Uh, so we don't want spin on. We want pierce on, and I think. Let's uh, let's go through our mods and see uh, see what we have. Ooh, damage after kills. I wonder. I wonder how long this lasts for. Without extra information, it's re it's really hard to say if that would be useful or not. Uh, ammo cost per shot, no. Right, let's let's salvage up some of these that we know we're not going to use. So, refund chance on hit. It was nice at the start, uh, but no thank you. Ammo cost per shot, we'll take that down because 5% is not much. Damage while well, no health, who cares? Reload speed, who cares? I think the consecutive kill boost, it's it's got potential. But without really knowing more about how long it lasts i can't weigh up if it's worthwhile or not so we'll just we'll just lose it um the spin grouping efficiency we know we've already got a better one spin rate of fire up i think grouping efficiency is better so let's get rid of basically everything that's related to the spin and then shatter projectiles fire Projectiles fired and recoil, they can just go. So let's have a look at what we're doing for Pierce. Damage while aiming up or or a faster zoom. Let's go for damage while aiming. We could potentially like uh, do an upgrade. But we're going to need more entropic, ep uh, entropic echo before we can do that. Uh, so into our personal mods, we've got loads of these. Uh, I'm a big fan of this shield strength being up. And I really quite like our um, energy recovery speed one as well. So let's, let's get rid of everything else that's not really relevant. I'll keep this launch efficiency. Because it's a rank 4 mod. And I'll keep one C's accelerator. Because I think that's that's going to give us a lot of flexibility when we unlock the next mod. Uh, so evade energy goes down. C speed. I mean, these are... These give exactly the same. Plus 54%. Uh, except this one, deconstructing, will give us 250 of the material. So let's do that. Um, yeah, energy plus 9%, don't care. Shield strength plus 36%. I think the rest are just all going to go. Okay, we've we've tidied up our inventory quite a lot. So let's ha let's have a look at the map. Uh, we're sort of going over that side. Yep, we've got Pierce ready. So we're really looking to do headshots. This is not the one we want to go to. It's the next one round. I wonder if it's possible for us to climb up there. Actually.
Let's see, we could maybe come at it from this side. Oh, that looked like we should have been able to get up on top of that. Maybe from up over here. What benefit would it give us? Not seeing anything, but let's... No, that definitely was not a thing. Definitely not a thing. Let's not send ourselves into doom, doom, gloom. I do feel like we're supposed to be up higher or maybe down lower. Hard to say. Uh, so, if we're not going into central maintenance, then that means we might have to go through the furnace chamber. Because this just isn't, isn't useful over here. There's nothing hidden over at the back blocking us, which means it's probably going to be accessed from elsewhere. Oh yeah, Black, Black Rock Quarry up there. Okay, how do we get up? So this is me just uh, checking this uh, like little walkway thing to see if there's any obvious up the cooling water thing. Maybe. I mean, that looks like it should be climbable. If we could get up. Can we... Can I pull you up here? This seems like a terrible idea, but let's... Let's borrow this. Oh, there's also one over here that we could have used. Not done with you yet. Sure, this is totally the way you're meant to do it. <laughs> I love it. Alright, well, seeing as we're up here, let's have a, a little look around. Uh, let's not go up to the next layer just yet. We'll actually check. Creative engineering. That's what I'm going to call it. It looks like there's nothing to grab around here. So up we go. That looks like another way up, but I want to look for any bonuses like this. Launch efficiency, we'll get rid of that at some point. Uh, let's have a look around. I like uh, thoroughly exploring what we've got access to before moving on. And that's not actually the way we're supposed to go, but that would take us to the outer ring. This would probably take us a little bit closer. Let's, let's go and check this direction first. We might find that this is actually an easier way to get up here from somewhere else. Who needs to actually focus on the mission at hand? Oh, actually, no. This is just a little side, side box threshold remnant. Sure, I'll take that. I mean, whoever designed uh, <laughs> designed this system, they probably need to have their head checked. That being said, it is possible that the house has shifted, 
So, you know, I can't just, uh, can't just judge them. Right, let's, uh, let's climb up. And then up again. Have a scooch around this level. We've got another slightly broken access point. That's where we were just across before. Right, just up one more then. Nothing really of note on that level. We are getting close to that uh, that big bridge. I think we're doing some manual climbing. Oh, right, yep, yeah, we are. And that is not good. Let's back off. So, if I'm doing... Headshots. Can I headshot through this? No, I can't. And there though. Wow, that just like obliterated that. Do you guys want to come back round? I did not intend to shoot him. I wanted to actually chuck. It's going to be really hard to get the headshots. Just, just while they're above me, like that. Hey, that's just rude. Chucking grenades off the edge. That's a big fat note. Let's pull back a little. Don't think we're gonna have much more luck around this side. We might just need to kill them with something else. be fine, just annoying. Ow. Oh, what? Where did he come from? Fine. It's no problem. We'll just make our way back up. It's just annoying because we have to do that navigation climb. We did get one of our headshot kills. This should get us into the quarry. Okay. So, back round to the pipe up, which was over this way. Yeah. I hop up here. Borrow you. I'll just put you there. And up we go. It's going to be nothing specific to find, so we can just head straight up. That 
actually. We wanted to go this way around this time, didn't we? There it is. Seeing, uh, seeing the pipe work, it actually makes me think a little bit of satisfactory and uh, uh, rooting stuff efficiently. Shame you can't hold it down indefinitely. I do understand why they do it, so you can't. that thing streaming towards us. Big fat note there. Okay. Not exactly headshots, but more effective than the... Oh, hello. You're still alive. At least we're aiming in roughly the right direction. Still you left. Where are you going? What are you doing, mate? We're just making this hard for ourselves by using Pierce. But we do need those headshots. Coming along. Shots done. <clears throat> I am surprised he did not hit us. I mean, we were we were dead to rise there. Ooh. NSC. Let's find out about that. Just have a little look around here for any other materials or anything. Okay. Dynamic energy extraction and conversion. Redacted sarcophagus container. 
NSC. The NSC was designed by order of Deputy Chief Trench shortly before he became director. The container provides a safe method of extracting of redacted excess energy output while acting as a humane way to house him. The coolant pumps keep the container and its redacted from overheating while the energy is siphoned. The energy is then conducted to the converters where it is rendered into a redacted through the use of turbine generators. The electricity produced powers the entire bureau, making us completely self-sufficient and effectively invisible on the New York City grid. After NSC-01's disappearance by some unknown manifestation of Redactor's power, the occupant was restrained and a second model was built. NSC-02 possesses built-in spatial anchors that are designed to prevent any translocative effects from its occupants. Refer to 9-23-0544 for a full report. That is curious. I mean, I always suspected that there was someone inside. I wonder if it's Dylan. I mean, that, that would be like cliche plot, but it would also be fine. So this is the way to Blackrock Quarry over here. Let's go the other way. And uh, just see what else we can find first. Because there might be little collectibles, little research notes, or or anything else dotted around. Ooh, or another control point, which would actually be really handy. Ah, and a clearance level five door. I suppose it would be possible to get up here early, just by climbing. <laughs> yes. Yeah, actually, or by taking the elevator from the control room, which I'd completely forgotten about. And this is up high in the energy converters. I don't remember specifically being up here, but I suspect we were. Okay, well, let's just have a little scout over this way. So yeah, this leads to Blackrock processing itself. Yeah, we don't need to go back down this way. Although I am curious as to exactly where it, it puts itself out. Oh, that's going to be down in the Blackrock lab. Let's, let's have a look just in case it is behind another door that we hadn't gone into. And then we'll come back this way. Hmm. Not able to do any aiming while in, in here. Yeah, it was behind another clearance door. Okay. On to the quarry itself then. Powers are back. Really glad that it doesn't like destroy the cables holding up that gangplank because that would be um, dangerous. Dangerous. Okay, let's just have a very quick look at our astral constructs. So we've got enough source, uh, but we need three more Entropic Echo before we can do anything there. Uh, and in terms of fast travel, this actually counts as... Ah, the upper level. Good. So we can we can come back here without too much trouble. That should have been a headshot. Okay. 
And if these guys haven't spotted me, I'm very happy to just take them out. We're not going to go to research. I would have thought that would hit him. That did. Right, one of our three hiss elevated does. Is that all the trouble we're going to have? Might be all the trouble for the moment. No, don't care about ritual impulse. I want entropic echo, which probably means that's entropic echo, not entropic gecko. Uh, which means we'll probably have to go... To, in fact, we can find out where, to, where we need to go. Uh, containment. Well, we're not... We're not going to containment. We're going to the quarry. It doesn't look like there was any other... paths across here, because that one was at the lower level. Finally, black on, <laughs> black on mission, black on the black rock, uh, rock quarry mission. I, I apologise. I've only had one coffee so far today. I will hop over this though because I see you. Fan supplement in the case files. What? The oscillator. Extract from formal interdepartmental complaint. The notion of fan death has now become widely known in the region since foreign investigator redacted met with a local journalist to explain how electric fans operate at speeds that may be sufficient, sorry, that may suffocate users by overly disturbing the air. As our agency is still young, we must take care to avoid missteps. Any explanation given to the public must provide sufficient yet vague rationale that will reaffirm the certainty that ours is a stable controlled world. We must tread carefully, especially in this increasingly technological world. With the radio and other innovations allowing information to travel at speeds previously undreamt of. This is precisely why we insist that our department handle all communications with public bodies, with all due respect. Head of the Department of Public Knowledge and Diversions. That's I love this. The setup of this um this organization is great. I would totally watch a TV series about this. I suppose it's it's probably close to Warehouse 13, but Warehouse 13 just feels a lot more um, piecemeal. Uh, slapdash. Thrown together. Not really in control. See what I did there? Control. Yeah. Grab you. Another threshold remnant, but nothing else of note in there. I should really be looking up more. Verticality is definitely a thing in this game. All right, let's uh, let's call the elevator and. Uh, Make our way to the quarry. Elevator's broken. Oh, of course. Well, gotta get down the old-fashioned. I mean, it's just down, isn't it? So the question is, which down is going to be preferable? Probably this one. Well, I can hear Darth Vader down there. Oh yeah. That didn't work. Let's try and get a better angle. You literally just running underneath me to be annoying. Because, I mean, it's going to work at being annoying. It's just not going to work at getting me. Yeah, this 
place is definitely getting more beaten up as we're going through. This looks like the safest way down. Got ya. Got ya before you became a problem. Hmm, another little maintenance thing just over there. Ooh, this is gonna be one of those horrible falls. Right, let's go like this, just just to make sure I don't completely screw it up. One down over here. I like the little, little dent impacts. That's very cool. This place is starting to give me the heebie-jeebies. This implies someone's been down here already. Not a headshot, but... Not a headshot, but a double kill. Ow! Where was that from? I oh, was that just the thing I shot behind them. It might have just been the thing I shot behind them. Right, let's... Let's cleanse the control point. That at least gives us a point to come back to. And we'll hopefully get the elevator working now that the house is no longer in weird shifty state. Just in case. Yeah. Definitely works. We can use fast travel to get out should we need to. <laughs> oh yeah, we've, uh, we've finished off the snipers now. That's good. Well, while we're here, let's hand it in. The board countermeasures. Spin rate of fire boost, but that's alright. He's warped. Okay, we've got to kill one. Uh, that was that weird monster thing that we faced before. Rated M for mature. <laughs> and uh, yeah, getting a, a prime personal mod could be very cool. Yeah, to get headshots, we definitely need to aim above the head. So only another couple of these and we can handle that one in as well. I really quite like the Pierce. It's just a shame it's only got two bullets. But it is a giant, giant owl. One more to go. There we go. Right, let's hand this in quickly. The board countermeasures. Collect that. It's an accuracy boost. Well, it's not massively special. Um. 
Let's go for the his charge in maintenance. It seems to be technically in maintenance at the moment. We can always change it out later. Oi, no shooting. I'm the only one who's allowed to shoot. frequently would be beneficial I'm sure oh wow it's actually like opened it up properly okay cool well hello you little side route maybe curious how many places we can like sneak through to with a bit of oh oh that's interesting it's not exactly sneaking through if we just like blow a hole in it That must be because we can do large... Oh, where is this? This kind of leads to the furniture. I mean, this is where I wanted to have a look. Anyway, we can come back this way. But this will be on the, uh, the other side of that grate, I reckon. Won't it? Probably. Possibly. Ooh, this might be bad, actually. One ability point, but this is a hidden location. What the hell? So this whole area is going to be really, really bad. Oh yeah, it's you up there, isn't it? Ow. Okay, fine. We'll ignore that. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna end up hurting ourselves going in there anyway. So it's not worth killing ourselves over when we can't even do anything with the zone. But very cool to find. Let's just get get out. And uh, yeah, we, we know how to get there. Right, is there any health left lying around from our previous combat? Yes, there is. Loads. How are we doing on our various countermeasures? One out of three, zero out of one, because that's warped. And that's his charged without getting hit. I don't think we've seen any his charged in this bit yet. We could go down to the right. I mean, the lighting in here is... It's terrible and weird at the same time. No, let's let's actually do it as a left wall hug. So that's back down towards the secret area. That's all closed off. And not just like climb up and over closed off. Yeah, speaking of climbing up, there's so many up bits. 
that we might be able to make our way to. Let's, uh, let's have a look around on this level before we decide what to do there. Quarry equipment order. We need additional diamond blades ASAP. Continuous rim this time to get the clean cut research once. This black rock shit is tough. We're going through blades like made out of the damn things. The dimensions for these slabs, of course. Black rock they want are outrageous. For all the grief they're causing me, these fire breaks better be working a treat. Go ahead and double the last order. Ooh, floating rocks. Uh oh, that's that's one of those nasty, nasty things that we definitely do not want to go down into. Is that something underneath it though, round the corner? Oh yeah, there's like a tiny little hidey nook. So we'd have to lead it out of there if we wanted to see what that was all about. You know, we're not that far away from a respawn point. So, follow me. Oh, you can sort of shrink it down for a little bit. That's interesting. Only for a second or two. No, you do not. Do not follow me. I will have one of you. That's another one of those weird head jobs. Ew. Well, he's going to die by himself. So let's grab this about the quarry workers and have a read. Linda, I saw David last night. I was working late in the quarry when he stumbled out from behind some black rock. It looked like hell. I called up to medical right away. He was half starved. He'd been missing two weeks, so I guess it's not a surprise. While I was waiting for someone to come help, he kept telling me about some carvings, something about an ancient tree. Couldn't really understand him. When the medics came, they brought security. They grabbed David and hauled him off. They interrogated me for a couple of hours about what David had told me. Anyway, I know you're on the next shift, so I thought I'd leave this for you. He was your husband, you have a right to know. The way security was acting? Well, I don't know if we're going to see David again. I'm so sorry, Linda. Burn this after you read it. Obviously did not get burnt. Ooh. Let's have a look at those. Right. Massive seas accelerated, that's great. Damage against enemy armor plus ninety-eight percent. This is a good one for the grip to have. Like a really good one. We'll keep the regular damage boost as well. But that means if we end up um, having to shoot something that does have a, a decent armor on, we'll be uh, at least doing something against it. Oh, we're going to have to get back out past that thing, aren't we? I see you. Doesn't actually appear to be responding as well.
All right, let's just run for it. No, thank you. Big fat no, thank you. Uh, let's go over this way, I think. I mean, this is the, the danger with places like this. They're gonna they're gonna offer a hundred different routes that you can move around. I mean, look at that. That that goes somewhere that's not on the map, obviously. So I want to see what there is over there. We are off the map, people. Shield efficiency and threshold remnants. Ooh. More radios. Dimensional staffing. Another ritual impulse. Okay, let's have a read of the correspondence from Darling. Dimensional research is going to change everything. The way we... The work we do there will be brilliant, dangerous, and revolutionary. So we'll need staff to meet the challenge. So far I'm considering Carla Vaughan, Lorenzo Dunn, Hubert Tan, Edna Pierce, either Beth Harrington or Abe Lewis if their departments can spare them for a bit. Emily is an obvious choice, but who knows what will come out of the doorways we open. Perhaps it's better to keep her somewhere where the work is less unpredictable, but she won't like that. And there's no way she won't notice how secret new research... <laughs> At this point, notice a secret new research department. She's too sharp. Well, she does appear to be quite sharp, yeah. Um, okay, I think that's probably a good point for us to finish this episode off. Uh, we have been going for a little bit of time. We've got plenty more places uh, to explore and try and get to. So I think uh, we're going to be spending quite a bit of time around here in the quarry. Um, having and knows at, uh, what it has to hold. Thank you very much for watching everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. As always, if you have, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Control. See you soon.